Hey there everyone, my name is Jason, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the newest and most complete method of how to Poke Gem with power saves. Now a couple months ago we were introduced to a program called PK Hacks, which was a much less time consuming and less tedious process than uh, Poke Genning with power saves, because you could just generate Pokemon from scratch and it was a hell of a lot easier. Then you could just import them to your game, take them on a Wi-Fi, upload some Wi-Fi battles, do all that good stuff. The only unfortunate part is that program got patched along with its brother the QR code injector. They both got patched in a recent firmware update and they're no longer usable uh, unless you have a hacked 3DS, a gateway, or a spared 3DS that is on an old firmware update. So it's unfortunate that some of us are as lucky to have two 3DS's and especially ones that are still on a previous firmware update. So if you're one of those unlucky people like myself, don't worry, because today I'm going to be showing you guys a method that's rather cheap, and it's cheaper than going out and buying a new 3DS, and it's also, I mean, a little bit more time consuming, so if you got some time on your hands, it's nice, but unfortunately, if you're looking for a not as time consuming method, this isn't the video for you, because um, this is going to be kind of a time consuming method, but if you're up for the amount of time you might have to put into this, it's way faster than legitimately doing it, but at the same time, makes everything a lot easier, so if you're up for that, that's what this tutorial is going to be, and without any further ado, let's hop into it. So to start off, you're going to need the Pokemon you want to make competitive. For me in this instance, I was actually moving stuff around in my Pokebank, but in a second you're going to see I chose this Deli Bird we had in the PC. Now make sure that you go to your very first box in the PC and place the chosen Pokemon, whatever Pokemon you decide to uh, choose for this tutorial's sake, make sure you place it in the very first slot in box 1. Once that's done, go ahead and save your game and eject your cartridge and then put it into your power saves model. So now we're going to go ahead with the next most important part of making a competitive Pokemon. So we need to change its EVs, um, and its IVs, and its attacks, uh, item, ability, and even the original trader ID in this case, because actually this is a traded Deli Bird that I obtained from Wonder Trade, so I need to change the OT on it in order for my game to register that it's my Pokemon, and then I can change the nickname to whatever I like. The first thing that you want to do is when you have your game loaded into power saves is head down to the shiny Pokemon codes folder and select the shiny slash modify PID folder and select whichever option corresponds to the gender of your trainer. So if you're playing as male, select male trainer. If you're playing as female, select female trainer. Then apply those changes so everything is accustomed and that way your ID can be uh, changed to yours and then we can continue with everything else so that it all adds up and nothing glitches up in the process. If you want to make a shiny, you can just by going to the shiny modify TID folder and then select the slot one box one option uh, you can also change stuff like its gender whether or not it has pokey rust and whatnot um, all that stuff you can change it up real quick but the main thing you want to do and this is what's very important if this Pokemon was just hatched from an egg and it's still level 1, don't worry about this part. But if you receive this Pokemon from a trade or in the wild somewhere and it was already pre-leveled up, then make sure you open up all the EV folders and reset all of them to zero. Then you can go ahead and finish toggling whatever else you want, you know, like specific Pokeball it was caught in, uh, or whatever else you'd like, like 6 IVs, just whatever you feel like is necessary to change up that you feel like changing. Make sure you apply those changes and then proceed to set the proper EVs you want for certain stats certain stats excuse me on this Pokemon in this case I think about 252 attack 252 speed and 4 defense or special defense I don't know just completely random EVs but make sure you don't go over the stat limit of 510 otherwise then your Pokemon will be banned from online and you won't be able to take it online to use on Wi-Fi so make sure you don't go over that 510 limit and then you should be good to go the next thing you want to do is head over to the link that will be provided in the description of course and that's going to be to the attack list with all the numbers for all the attacks in Pokemon. Uh, this will be very very important so make sure you go down there right now and open that link up. Go ahead and navigate to the tool items code on power save and select 999 items for slot 2 to 6 and then go ahead and apply your changes. This will become more relevant in a second and I'll explain why. Just go ahead and do this and you should be good to go. The next step is to go and head into your game and get ready to do some math because it's going to be a little bit ridiculous here for uh, the next couple of minutes. Open up a site like Cerebi, Pokemon Database, Bulbapedia, whatever site that can display you know statistics for Pokemon um, or every Pokemon uh, like level up moves, type, max XP that it can uh, earn, you know, locations in game, etc. Uh, my personal preference is Cerebi but you can choose whatever you really like as long as it's a Pokemon stats website. Now go ahead and find the Pokemon you're choosing for this tutorial by just typing in their name. 
and then find the four moves that you're going to decide to give this thing. Now make sure that all these moves are legal and that they are compatible with each other because in, in some cases some moves may be exclusive to 3rd gen games and they may not be compatible with 5th or 6th gen moves. So make sure that you know what you're doing before you actually apply all these changes. Once you have all the moves you selected, you're going to want to head into your game and go to your bag. Head to the pocket where all your tool items are and go down to the second item. Now in my case, I already have the max item code on, so my items in my bag might be a little bit different and most likely will be different than yours, um, but that part doesn't matter. As long as you're using your second to the fifth slot here, you'll, you should be fine. As you saw, I wrote down the names of the moves that I chose and the attack dex number for the moves right next to it. So you want to go to the second item in the bag and then first select the, the first move that you want. In my case, uh, the first move I wanted was Ice Shard and its number is 420. So you have to subtract 420 from 999, which like I said, 420 is the attack dex number for that move. And then you're going to be left with the number four seven, or 579. Excuse me. This will be different for everybody because it just depends on what move you're putting on your Pokemon. Uh, continue to do this for all 4 moves until you've discarded the correct amount of items from slots 2 to 5. Then there's still slot 6. So, this part you're only going to need if you're planning on changing your ability for the Pokemon. Now, this works the exact same way as the move modifier code, but instead with abilities. I'll link a page in the description that I use where you can just do control F and you can type in the name of the ability you want, grab the number subtracted, do all the stuff you just did before for the moves on a calculator and, and that way you're set to go. And also make sure you save your game and head back into your power save software once your cartridge is plugged in and you discarded all the items and all that good stuff. So make sure you save your game, check the cartridge and then we head back over to power saves. Now as tedious as this step is, it's all worth it in the end. Navigate your way down to the very bottom, seeing as these are the places where the codes are located, at least at the time I'm recording this video. Uh, then for all four moves, make sure that you click them individually and apply them all individually, which is very annoying, I know, but it's alright. It just takes an extra couple of minutes. I'm not sure why you can't do all four at once, but... I mean, whatever, it's easy enough as it is. Also, do the same for the ability modifier if necessary if you decide to change the Pokemon's ability up. Um, and then also, uh, you're going to want to be, uh, once you're done with that, you're going to want to head over into your game, boot your game back up once you've applied all those necessary codes. Uh, I would also recommend using the 999 items code so that way you can equip this without, or you can equip this Pokemon with any item of your choosing. Uh, so do that before you uh, finish up and then apply all those changes and then head back into your game. Go ahead and go to your PC see and look at the first box as you can see there's your brand new competitive pokemon that you just made now remember one very important detail if you plan on taking this pokemon online into stuff like wi-fi battles battle spot and whatnot and i think even the battle maze on good luck nintendo has some new like crazy hacks or uh, hack protection for six gen games so if the pokemon that you get has moves ability stats evs um even stuff as memories which isn't even accessible unless you use a program like pk hex um if those are any in any way shape or form slightly altered from what they should be these things will not be allowed online so make sure everything is as legitimate as possible although in power saves you don't do as much coding and detailing so it's not as hard to screw it up as it would be with pk hex but you should be good to go nonetheless as long as you follow along with this tutorial now if you guys are still having problems at the end of this and if you either don't understand what i said in the tutorial or you're having issues with getting your pokemon online go ahead and check out the video that's about to flash up on screen and go ahead and watch that video and if it still doesn't work after uh you tried all the troubleshooting uh problems i listed in that video then feel free to leave me a comment or and i'll do my best to reply and help out although you're more likely to get a faster reply from me if you haven't already followed me on twitter which is at jason plays pokemon go ahead and follow me like i said if you haven't already i definitely recommend doing it uh it's a great place to go to for usually stuff that i tweet out like upcoming projects when i'm streaming slash uploading a video uh when i'm looking for battles and also when i'm complaining about random stuff so if that sounds remotely fun to you uh then feel free to go over there and follow uh that'd be pretty awesome you guys can do me a huge favor by dropping a thumbs up on the video that would be the simplest and easiest thing to do to support the video because this video did take a lot of time to put together and all that stuff so one like could go a long way and i'd really appreciate it if you're still craving more power saves knowledge don't worry i still have tons of videos that you guys can go check out right over this way i, I think there's somewhere somewhere on the screen i don't know um but you guys can go check those videos out i have a plethora of other ones just with different kinds of code reviews and uh, tutorials and all that so you can definitely go check some of those out by all means links to them will be on the screen and if you're still not done with your Pokemon fix yet after this point there's a more videos you can check out on my channel there's a ton of them uh, I do all kinds of different Pokemon content TCG openings Wi-Fi battles showdown all that good stuff the only thing I don't do is shiny hunting because I don't like shiny hunting that much 
kill me. I'm sorry. Anyway, if you guys think that sounds interesting, go check that out. Greatly appreciate it. Right now, we're even doing a sacred gold egg lock and a black and white two gender lock with a buddy of mine. So you can definitely go check that out. It's going to be really uh, awesome to see you guys over there and on the channel and supporting it all. So yeah, definitely go check it out. And like I said, if you guys enjoy this video, drop a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Anyway, thank you all for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next time. Peace.